What is that? Oh, it's following us. They're, <laughs> they're using drones, dude. Ten ordinary people from all over Britain are about to become fugitives. Just stand up for me. Be yours, eh? Going on the run will be the biggest thing that I will have ever done. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, um... I should do... Subtitles on here. And then what if I did this? Full of metal work. I always ask the question, can I still soldier? They have to disappear in one of the most watched countries in the world. I hate authority like bearing down on me. You've just got to make sure you leave no trace. A great advantage. Uh, Are they all going place. at the same time? Excuse me. Sorry. Hello. Sorry. It is your only Magna Zone? Yeah, if you're looking to get like a rank team together, maybe you just get. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Tracking them down is an elite team of hunters. Hack his phone, hack his hardware, search his house. Armed with the powers. Hack of the his state. hardware, dude. Get him. Turn off the phone. Here we go. Cell site location. We'll get after them. Get but if they can evade capture for 28 days. You have to. It's 28 days? They will win a share of 100,000 pounds. 100 grand? To be able to give money to a mom and actually put a deposit down on a house. I want to win. I don't want to win these style as well. Goddamn There's inflation, no dude. I remember when game shows, their prizes were a million dollars. Now it's a share of a hundred thousand? You're gonna catch me. What the heck? Got him eyes on, eyes on. Come on! Where will they hide? Who will they trust? There's no other lady that I know who would ever ask me to go on the run with her. Oh, down. 10 fugitives, 28 days, 100,000 pounds. Someone's running. What would you do? Stay where you are. Oh, that's right. That's right. This ain't, Amer this ain't American money. <laughs> Still a share of 200K? Is, what, what is that? Inflation, it should be bumped up. What did this say? The powers of the state have been replicated, including CCTV and automatic number plate recognition. They have been <laughs> replicated? <laughs> You're telling me they're doing fake scenes? What is this? Milk Street? They spend most of it on the technology to hunt them. <laughs> <laughs> I really like how they all run out with their bags like they're late to the airport. This is Chief. In command of the hunters is former Scotland Yard detective Peter Blexley. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around the big screen, please. We're now going to see some footage that was shot at Birmingham city centre at 12.45 p.m. today. Fugitives are on the run. The fugitives have had a 30-minute <laughs> head start. Two males, they're, they're ex-military. Military. <laughs> they're ex-military. Tell by the war, the way they've got the bags on. We think we've got 10 fugitives. <laughs> they got the military gate, dude. Right, let's identify where that was. Let's get CCTV applications in. Let's find out who these people are. After receiving the His goddamn footage, big brother, the hunters dude. are given the name, age, and address of each fugitive, plus a photograph. That one's Kirk Anthony Bowett, and this one's so they, Jeremy. So they get all the information. They said <laughs> that whole. <laughs> That whole scene where he's like, go find out where they live is all from fluff. They just give it to him? Scarrett. We thought this is one was definitely ex-military by the way he walks. This one is ex-military, going on his social media profile already. The bad thing is they've got security training, they've got counter-terrorism training, they've got military experience. Absolutely clued up on how to evade detection. 
The good thing is they're wearing backpacks, they've got camping equipment on them. Hopefully that helps us predict what they're going to do. Let's get out of here. They're going to the woods. The fugitives are allowed to arrange their initial escape. Good morning, buddy. Filming their every move is a covert camera operator living alongside them. Right, have we got any CCTV applications in yet? We're waiting for CCTV. Great, let's work out the route they've gone. Head out the city, mate, towards the M6. I think we'll be very efficient and dynamic. Because of our military background, we will push the boundaries regarding risk. The hunters need to be ahead of us. As far as we're concerned, it ain't gonna happen. We're gonna beat them. We'd like an early capture. I want ground teams to Birmingham to try and pick up the trail and get hot on their tails. HQ has six teams of ground hunters strategically placed around the UK. Their members have been handpicked from the best of Britain's military, police and special forces. Message from HQ. Deploy immediately. What is this? It's my new React meta. Hunted. Big Brother UK is coming for the fusion. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some update intelligence for you. We've seen uh, what we believe is 10 individuals in total. Bomb burst in all different directions. <laughs> so you are the closest <laughs> at the moment to Milk Street in Birmingham. Get down there, find out what's the, going on. <laughs> these fugitives all exploded out of this criminal house at once. Roger okay? that, mate. Okay, so I've just got through CCTV of <laughs> Hamish Foban <laughs> and Michaela Sales. <laughs> They've run in from this junction with the warehouse's Oh, that's so the good. Corner, so <laughs> they're they're just running down, down the street, street in the I'm street. I'm taking a look at the fact that they were wheeling our suitcases. I'm, I'm really intrigued by that. That's not it seems a, very, a little sus. It's not very mobile. It's not very mobile. Go, go, go! I can't help wondering if there's not a decoy there. Dude, it, like, oh, go right, go right. you got it. <laughs> you actually have the new GTA RP strats and like switch up cars inside a parking structure. <laughs> so I think we need to be very careful about that, making any assumptions based on what we're seeing right there. You really think we're going on the run with the wheelie kids? I'd say Michaela is probably the brains behind the organization. Oh, reality, TV. reality TV always plays things up for sure. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. She nags incessantly. She's arrogant, self-opinionated. They even uh, said they're they're playing the stuff up for sure. Of a tasered Tyrannosaurus, and those are just the good things. Uh, you know, she's also got some faults. Oh my God! Tell me when you're turning. Yeah, put on your seatbelt. CCTV from that junction they were at. We're Do we know direction of travel? Yeah, with we're them? waiting for that. Okay. Anna May and Elizabeth Garnet. What do we know? Anything? <laughs> Anna May? No, what's interesting here is notice they're both wearing running shoes. <laughs> we got Anna May. I'm team Anna May, dude. Trainers. They look like they're getting ready for swim outdoors. Yeah. Survival with down jackets, sleeping bags, and pack I'm wearing sacks. Wearing leggings. They're going to freeze to death. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the amazing like race, but like they never want to be seen again. Like icebergs, uh, like you can see the tip, which is what the hunters are going to see. But then there's so That's much perfect. more underneath. All right. Like. <laughs> is it traffic lights normal? I don't know. I can't see. There's a crossroad sign ahead. Oh god. To win like a share of a hundred thousand would be amazing. It would mean being able to give some money to my mum. So I put a deposit down on a house, for example. I underappreciate her, and she does everything for me and kind of like repay her. Thanks so much. Love you. Thank you. Bye. 100 grand. The mom's You've the accomplice. Every scrap of motivation you could possibly want. <laughs> Oi, bro. Fancy a shag. It's up to us to spoil the party. I've got details on that fugitive blonde Lorna Sean Jones. For the next 28 days, the fugitives are required to stay on the move, attempt to throw the hunters off their scent, and seek help from family and friends. So they can't just bunker down in one place? They have to keep moving? Excellent. Let's get a registration on that vehicle, please. And the road! <laughs> Whoa. 
Park. I'm in mean, traffic. That's what you've never seen in the movies, isn't it? Like, it's just gridlock when you're trying to get work. Right. What would Tom Cruise do in Mission Impossible? He'd find another route. <laughs> Since I've been in my 30s. Just do like what Tom Cruise would do. Suddenly about, oh, you don't have a mortgage, and oh, don't you have a boyfriend yet? And oh, like, you work in a job where you're just photocopying for a living. Like, how does it get to this? It's not exciting anymore. These first few hey, good luck, Ribsid. And this investigation to move the pieces around the UK to get those fugitives blocked off. We don't know how they're going to travel, whether it's foot, vehicle, train. I know. What would whatever. I do? What would I do if I was on this show? Birmingham mm. area because Birmingham is littered with CCTV. Madhu and Io. Tesco, 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 Tesco. Over their time on the run, the fugitive. Scundank. Scundank. Fly to North Korea and hope for the best. You think they're going to chase me to North Korea? I'm free. Give me the money. Might be worth it. I got have it. access to Let's a go. bank Sorry, account <laughs> containing two hundred and fifty pounds. Let me try to take out a hundred. But every it tax draw immediately alerts the hunters. Okay, guys, I've just got another ATM video through. Is that a phone? He's got a phone. They got, they got an ATM video. Got an iPhone yeah, six. Yeah, we should get two from the cell dumps, then. So everybody, you see the value here of broadening out our CCTV searches. So I make no apology for shouting and ensuring we get these done. Hello, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> right, so weird. A once in a lifetime. <laughs> you see? This works. I'm going to be a dick about it. Trinity to basically be Jack Bauer. I'm, I'm sorry that I've missed your um, birthday, but I will be back soon. So This seems I like really it would be a lot of fun. That I can show that, you know, I am smarter than the average. I will turn off the phone. Happy birthday. Fucking hell. He died. <laughs> He's posted on hour, social media, dude. Don't do it. <laughs> but there's one who is yet to escape the city. I know, literally, they're like, here, here's a bank account to use. And then once you use it, we're, <laughs> we're pinned into where you are. Nick Cummings, a 50-year-old from Taunton, is the only fugitive without a getaway drive. Yeah, it's in the, it's in the PCG Discord. So uh, you link your Twitch account and then you type exclamation point Poke Daily in the Poke Daily channel. He's carrying a lot of stuff. He's got to get to a vehicle of some description. In his kit, Nicholas, he had a um, cycling helmet as well. So there's every chance that he's got a bike stash somewhere nearby. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry. Hello. Sorry. Thank you. I think Ashley's just seen some Bike's probably a good way to go. Yeah. Ashley, have you got confirmed about the bike with yeah. Nick Cummings? It's a confirmed bike for Nick Cummings. Excellent. Every camera in Birmingham is pointing at me right now. But I don't mind because I'm looking good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a house husband for 17 years, basically. <laughs> My main job, really, is to look after Tom, who's 16 now. Uh, he's on the autistic spectrum. So what would be the best and the worst thing about Dad going? What do you think? The best thing is that Damn, you're not that's here a... to be generally annoying. Yeah. The worst bit is that How's Josh husband? will still be here. That's the dream right there, dude. <laughs> Come on, Chris. I'd never really had a career, whereas Joe is a hard-working GP. Are you good? So I can't show value. You know, I'm just a guy who spends the money. Come on then, Bill. Yes. Winning 100,000 will mean I bring financial value to the family so i do want to succeed at this everything is beautiful in its own way <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Steve. all right dude well, let's go so we're about 10 minutes off um the location of milk street mate we're just heading into birmingham now okay your target nicholas cummings oh He's shit they're like they're, they're like actually on the road tracking over all oh, this fire for you. yo be quicker than him in the vehicle to cover him off for the next stop Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Can you tell me which canal this is? Is it the Worcester one or the Grand Union? The it's cameramen so are secretly feeding footage to the paid actors claiming it's CCTV. I mean, there's definitely, there's definitely some, there's definitely some TV magic going on here. <laughs> Give me some. What's up, Martin and Ava? How are you doing? I wish. Oh, maybe one day we can bring back the wheel sub. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
People are hitting that like nobody's business. Oh my god. Yeah, it's super easy to uh to link your Twitch. Five months, fourteen days, almost six months. Let's go. David and Goliath, with me being versus the the, the state effectively. Um, it, it's David's slack mate versus Goliath. Right, we're going the wrong way, but no longer. <laughs> He's going to be going slower than the guys. He's carrying a lot of stuff. This could be a quick win. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, someone's definitely getting caught first episode. Oh, who's it going to be? Hi, Ben. We've arrived at uh, Barker Bridge overlooking the canal, mate. We've got intelligence to suggest Nick Cummings isn't far from your location along that canal path. Oh shit! That's so just to get hold of him. they're going scary. after the the, the house husband. Steve moving into position now. Yeah, I can see that. Thanks, Will. In position, Will. Standing by. Okay, Will. We've got CCTV footage of Nick Cummings wearing a boiler suit, brown work boots, and a beanie. Roger that. Okay. Well, I'm going into my first disguise, which is basically. Uh, Yo! <laughs> so we're gonna hide in plain sight. We're gonna we're gonna dress up as uh, builder, engineer, sort of like. He's got the disguise. Get up! And, that's uh, fire. We're gonna change our appearance as much as possible, as simply as possible. So hopefully they think they know what I look like, and now I don't. But Nick's disguise doesn't work. Ah, fuck! <laughs> He's spotted again on CCTV, heading towards the hunters. Uh oh. Well, just see CCTV footage from Ox. That's the last shot of the future, mate. Uh, it looks like he's changed his appearance. He's got a quite large high vis jacket on. This could be bloody brilliant. <laughs> bloody really brilliant, could. dude. I've got a possible now coming towards you, Steve. Are you receiving? Standing by. Are they just going to tackle him, dude? With this jacket. I know, you gotta ditch your bike at that point and just walk. Five, four, cancel, cancel, that's a negative on Nick Cummings. Negative on Nick Cummings. Oh, nice, dodge. I've lost the canal again. <laughs> Good. Unwittingly, Nick's given the hunters the slip by coming off the canal path and he getting just lost got in lost. the city centre. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, buddy. Can you tell me how to get to the canal from here? If you don't know where you are, how could they know? <laughs> That's There's awesome. No on him. Um, we've missed him. That is bloody gutting. Okay, I'll speak soon. Roger. It's not going to last 28 days on that bike. That point, you can't have cycled the bar because that's yeah. so impractical in those big yeah. shoes. Yeah. yeah. He's going rural, probably. We, we just don't know. I mean, I, I can't decide if he is really much more sophisticated than we're giving, giving him credit, credit for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or if he is as inept as he comes across. <laughs> God damn! This I like. <laughs> they actually just go like... And this is the M5, and this is God, really God, they're throwing cool. massive so shade at him. Wales, basically. So, uh, we'll get over this, crack the hardest bit. I've got away. Touch wood so far. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Yo, I'm sorry, Leslie. There's um, I can't remember. It's been it's been like well over a year since I linked my account. I don't exactly remember how it works. But you might need access to your email. We need Trent Street. Do you? Street, I thought you only need access to your to Twitch. Treat as a priority, yeah. please. So just make sure you for coordinate and that every single area around that building is covered. We now have 10 fugitives split over what appears to be six groups. Get the requesting for bank details. So that's definitely a blue SUV. That is an incredibly high workload for any group of investigators, detectives, intelligence gatherers, whatsoever. We're under the cosh. Whiskey in what is earth. Kosh? Chief Peter Blakesley leads his team with the help of two deputies. Hold up, hold up. We got hold up. Can we learn? What is Kosh? Is 
It's a weapon? The cane. UK education slang dated the cane. It's a cane? Wonka. Ben Owen and Louisa Clark. We're nearly in the Romford address. We're very nearly in one of the London addresses, which is Io and Madus. So I trained as a sniper before I joined the British Intelligence Services, and I led operations to track down terrorists to stop them carrying out attacks in the UK and abroad. We haven't got an awful lot on Michaela at the moment. Michaela and Hamish you know they've got into a blue van. I served as an officer in British military intelligence for just over a decade, serving in both Northern Ireland and Afghanistan. Um, and I also served in Northern Egypt. Ireland and Afghanistan. It's got a profile, by the way, ex-military, definitely. Brilliant. The hunters have 28 days to track the future. The biggest British war zones. It's it's fast and furious at this stage, um, but also we need to be really disciplined in terms of actually tracking what we're doing, so we don't duplicate or trip each other's toes. It's all about being composed, working together collectively, and we'll get them. Kirk Bowett, Jeremy Scarrett, last seen on CCTV getting into a Volkswagen Passat. We've requested who the vehicle's registered to, and that is a Olaf Jones. Right, OK, well, as far as I'm concerned, Jones is a getaway driver, and he'll be treated accordingly. <laughs> There's a contradictory in the terms. Military intelligence. There you go. We were heading towards the M6 now. Which way do you want to go? Right, don't actually go on I wonder M6. how many... <laughs> Terrorist that sniper stopped. Six. Talking to stay on the A38 then. Stay on the A38, yeah. All right. We're going back close to where I What if is. they do something illegal, like steal a car during this free pass? Like, it's like, it's like temporary diplomatic immunity, I think. You're a fugitive. I know the area very well. I've got a load of assets in the area. And we can start. Oh, let's go, Leslie. Hell yeah. Enemy. So it looks as though we've identified a social media profile for Kurt Ballett. Um, yep. He was an amputee. He had a hashtag amputee in his profile. Obviously lost his left arm, part of his left arm. Yeah. I've actually got to the point where I'm biting my lip through anxiety. I was injured working out in Iraq in 2013. My vehicle experienced an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The way he said that, <laughs> I got injured working out. I was just picturing him. <laughs> I was just picturing him working chest. <laughs> oh no. It was flipped into oh. the desert about uh, 50, 60 feet, and it rolled, the vehicle rolled about four or five times. I think at that time I said goodbye. I said goodbye to my family. I wish I, I could do the poker daily in the Twitch chat. Leg had to be reconstructed and I lost my arm uh, at the forearm so I'm a left below elbow amputee. So we think Kurt Bowett's wife is Carol Bowett. He's a very proud father. He's got two That's exactly what it is. Yeah, they want people to uh that could to participate in the Discord for sure. It it drives up engagement. Be a consideration. Five minutes to bedtime. It's changed me as a person definitely. It's changed my goals in life. I want to live for now. I want to have the kids. I want to bring them up. Bedtime party. And ever since then, it's been fight, 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 you know. And here we are now. You know, we're back at it. Just, check, just keep it out for cameras, Jess. Uh, my name is Jess. Like you're, you're not going to be able to spot every camera around. They're fucking everywhere. Royal Marines, 1975, left 1990. So what we've got here, we've got a, an audio clip of Jez Scarrett. I think it's all, just audio, yeah. Lost my lower right leg below the knee in a motorbike accident just before the Falklands War. Donna it's needs this. Yeah, edges. yeah, yeah. In, uh, Get this to Donna. See you later. Right, we're going to punch you up. We're all rooting for you, you know that, don't Cheers. You? Yeah, yeah. Don't screw this up. Uh, Military it. firing range? They just camping out here? My initial reaction is that there's something slightly angry about him yeah fed up with the desk job toga kiss oh my god what a fucking stream holy shit dude yo yo throw anything you got go 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 let's go Fuck, I need money, <laughs> Leslie, no. 
Yo, what up, Micah? Dude, it's been nothing but eight years. It's crazy. Oh, good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone. I'm trying to save money for my carry. <laughs> All right, this is it. Come on. Give me the kiss that was promised. The kiss that was foretold. Hey, what up, Bella? Oh, get the ultra ball. And Kaden, Kaden, get in here. Oh, my God. Give us a shiny one. Do it. Do it. Now I'm going to have to look at my kiss here. God dang it. If I get it. I, I The fact that I pulled this up early is not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sad. Uh-oh. I got it. Metaval. Marnava. King Hippo. Ages. Bella and Leslie. Kaden. No. Do you still... Kaden, do you still not have one? Please, no. God, look at that, Gary. Oh, my God. I sold my moodman for this. I still don't have one. That's so sad. I don't know. You got a like timer. You got a timer ball. Wing attack. Uh, mine's terrible. I can trade this away right now. Put it in the. Put it in the. Time to be depressed. CEO. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, my Hisuian Zoroark. Has great IVs, um, but it has a physical attack stat, a physical attack set for horrible attack. No drill either. Oh my god! I'm sorry. Running until eight years ago, but then his back and his hips gave out. We're watching a show for those of you just tuning in about people evading. The UK authorities for 200,000 American dollars, 100,000 British pound. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely be wonder trading because I'll even throw mine in there. So he probably sees this as being a very significant event. Oh, that sucks, Crimson. The fugitives are hiding out on a country estate. Helping them. Wait, wait, the <laughs> why are they getting a gun? What are they gonna do? Shoot the people chasing them? <laughs> Who served in the special forces? Oh, they got diplomatic immunity, dude. It's all good. Forces. We plan to evade capture via a group of veterans around the country. We've served together in the past. Soldiers stick together. Oh. We do look after each other's backs like we did in That action. shit's silence, too. Oh, uh, Monka. I find fugitives with a military background are brilliant to engage with because they have had a training in escape and evasion, something that I share. It means that they have a certain mindset, not that they're predictable, but there is a commonality of planning that uh, we can exploit. No, 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 no. The chief brings in Jez and Kirk's getaway driver, Olaf Jones. Number rabbit believes he's been brought in for questioning, but the chief has other ideas. Hello. Hi. Um, I just sent Donna in there to basically buy the time. I'm the psychologist working at HQ. Because the Simon guys need time to do their thing on his phone. Richard has installed a back door on the phone, um, so he's. Oh, they're hacking his phone and while he's in questioning. Location calls, text messages. Who Phil needs time. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> this doesn't seem like it's a common practice of like you know witness questioning. Hey, give me your phone and I'll hold it for a couple hours. So, Nothing sus. Don't the worry. Search the car and put the tracker on. And they're planting the tracker in his car. Well, he discovered a tracker when he gets home. He might do. 
but you know, I've had that before when I was at Scotland Yard playing some villain. Sent a tracker back to us in the post saying, I think you've lost this. So, better crooks than him have caught us out in the past. Where did you drop them off? Um, I can't give you that location. Are you going to provide them with any more help whilst they're on the run? Walkie talkies, phones. Plead the fifth, do they? Plead <laughs> the UK fifth. Binos, camera, radios, fucking yellow radios, look. Olaf's done well. How wide is their network? Now Let's go, Olaf. In my wildest dreams, he's going to pick up his phone and he's going to ring somebody of some significance. He's not going to pick that phone up and call the fugitives with it. But he may call someone who may call someone who may call the fugitives, and we may just possibly on the, be on the back of that somehow, which will inch us ever closer to Jason Kerr. Well, you got a license for that. OK, ladies and gentlemen, as the end of day one approaches, let's just remind ourselves that 12.45 p.m., the fugitives went on the run in Birmingham. <laughs> we knew I love that shot. Them. Let's see where we are a few hours later. Let's start with Lorna Jones. Great birthday, oh, great. Said, <laughs> said no, 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 no. <laughs> it's been crazy. The spawns have been crazy, Zed. I'm so sorry. Oh, do you think someone's gonna get caught first day? We're I feel like we're getting to the end of it here. I'm a protein ball, and I wanna get pissed. I don't see how they're gonna get me. How are they gonna get me? There's no idea where I am. <laughs> Yo Adesina and Madhu Alikor. We're assuming at the moment that they may have jumped on church. Gonna get caught and fucking shot? No, this is the UK, dude. It's not America. <laughs> they're good. They're good. Train. There's only one thing wrong with that, Gabriel. Assumption is the mother of all fuck ups. That guy had a fucking. Oh, you mean like the people tracking them are gonna get shot? Sure. <laughs> Military guys ain't going down without a fight. 100% sure if this is exactly how you're supposed to do it, but... Right, well, let me just give you a tip about the pegs. Yeah. We've been friends since we were 12, 13 years old. Mm. So our relationship, I would say, is love, hate, hate, love. Is he talking um, about the cops love. or is he talking about... I don't know if they're on a farm. <laughs> hate. Right. Have them at an angle. Have them at an Listen angle. Listen to me. I know, but I'm just... Okay. Listen to me. Wait, what? are oh, are you saying pegs? Not pigs. Pegs. <laughs> said to you was angle when you're on a plane and the oxygen mask drops down yes what did they tell you put your own oxygen mask on first okay. then help the person next to you okay hamish thoburn and michaela sales we're Day watching one. their current bank account in fighting's already starting That's excellent thank you very much at university, Hamish and I, yeah, we had a Are they, event. they're doing, they're having champagne dinner on the run? <laughs> they are just in an open field. That is pretty funny. Oh. I think I would win this because the first thing I'd be doing is dyeing my hair, wearing a wig. Tan, get glasses, fake braces, change my style completely, new identity, new run. <laughs> He's a Michael Douglas spectrum, red or blooded male. <laughs> Is there any chance of me rekindling a relationship with Michaela while we're on the Yeah, run? you got it. Like, first thing I'm doing if I do this straight, yeah, full, full bald, full extract. It's not impossible. I mean, I know she fancies me. Hide in the I'm back certainly cuddling him. To abstinence and liberty for all. Anna, Theresa May, and Elizabeth Francis Garnick. They're adventurous. They're used to the outdoors. It really wouldn't surprise me if they managed to be. I mean, successful. that seems like what a lot oh, of people wrong. are going is going for the bush strat. <laughs> Less of that talk, thank you very much, young man. We'll get him. We'll get Wait, him. did he That's make a joke? Like Hold on. What was the joke? Surprise me if they managed to be quite successful. I hope you're wrong. <laughs> Less of that talk, thank you very much, young man. We'll get him. We'll get him. That's more. He's like rooting it. for the people. Let's go. <laughs> oh yes, 
Fuck the system. That's it. That's very appropriate. That is very appropriate. Let's go. Like we planned it. Okay, great. Thank you, everybody. Crack on. Deputy Ben Owen starts to profile <laughs> It's Dan of Motel 3. So, Anna and Elizabeth, to your... Is that... <laughs> is a Motel 3 different than a Motel 6? I've been in a Motel 6. Elizabeth is the youngest of four. Everyone calls her Lizzie. 20 years old now, still lives at home. Her parents are Tony and Janine. Anna, born 1991. She's one of three. Studied criminology at university. Might come in handy. <laughs> Loved animals. Motel 6 divided by two. Oh, no. Outdoors. And has done the three peaks challenge barefoot, which is quite impressive. Barefoot three piece Elizabeth. challenge. God damn. Good morning, Zen. I'm sorry about the sorry about the dog. He is. They're fit individuals. They do lots of um, physical activities. I think it gives us a strong indication that it, it may be rural. These girls aren't scared of going rural. Where are we? I don't know, <laughs> but that's maybe a good thing. Um, yeah. I think we're being followed. Do you think we are? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just worried. Childhood friends Anna and Elizabeth are in Warwickshire. They're Warwickshire. keeping their movements as random as possible to stay off the hunter's radar. This is sort of a bit eerie. I feel like it's on the hill of eyes. There's like no one around. I reckon we cross over there and yeah. see where. Yeah, because it's like a house <laughs> there in the hospital. Not even there. bear grills in it. It's quite way. stiff, I think we're gonna have to climb. Yeah. Is, will my bag fit through there? <laughs> uh, just go on there. <laughs> take the bag off. <laughs> Just go on. What are you doing? It's not gonna yeah. fit me. What is this? Oh. <laughs> Anna is very, very kind, a very loyal friend. Will do anything, try anything. Oh, they okay. They Pretty took fast. the bag off at the end. Okay. It's like such a free spirit. So funny. Got a few screws missing. <laughs> Zen, it's been off the chain today. It's been off the chain. I'm even wearing my Gengar shirt. And the Gengar spawned. But she gives off this persona, but Lizzie is actually really intelligent and she's capable of everything. Very down to earth. Very Aww. friendly. Aww. Aww. <laughs> HQ dispatch ground hunters Paul and Michelle to Elizabeth's home to interview her parents. <laughs> I want to see the if people I... chasing after them go through the same fence and have the same trouble. <laughs> oh. Past family and friends have to meet the hunters Hello. and surrender their phones, computers, and tablets. But whether they tell the truth is entirely up to them. When did you last see your daughter? Um, <laughs> Sixteen years ago. I just tried to think how they're going to cope though with the you know the big rucksacks on the back. It's all that equipment and everything yeah, yeah carrying it all around and then thinking well where am i going to stay like, why are you telling them this yeah. <laughs> don't give, don't give them any information yeah. and i you know that's not going to look this conspicuous <laughs> in the middle of a field somewhere that's a good clue jan well these people are trying to catch lace and you're disclosing everything <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Your role is to try and assist Elizabeth, not give a full inventory of what she's up to. All right, then. Well, I don't know what she's up to. That's the point. I keep forgetting who I'm talking to. Email address and phone numbers. Obviously, you'll have to check your phone. As well. What, check it to see whether I received anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I to give him a fake phone. Give him a fake phone. As well. it's, it's just a list. Can I wait to check the lists? Am I wait to check the lists? No! Just say no! Um, yeah, sure. Say no! <laughs> what are they gonna do? <laughs> now you're giving them all the information, Dad! <laughs> oh, okay, we got a spot. Come on, give us another A tier? Chop it. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> British people went on crusades for collecting spices around the world and didn't even use them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do 
Kimchi and unseasoned meats. Yeah, what's on the list? Truck stops? Dad, you sold them out! Oh, after Holy after shit, all that, Dad really. was the one that truly truly sold them down the river. Damn. Elizabeth Garnett's property. Spoke to Mum and Dad. There was a number of bits of paper. Prominent bit out of that was truck stops. It mentions. So I think they're going to hitchhike after yeah. getting a lift and then do some camping. Should we look at truck stops? Anything? CCTV? Any hitchhiking areas? See where that next step's going to be. We have the lorries. Yeah. God I think damn. So. Hi, would you guys get something to get a lift? Yeah. Foiled by the parents. Yeah. No, no, no worries, thank you. What about this car here? Well, we need to hurry up because it's What if they just don't get anybody to take them anywhere? I think we've got a couple of tough cookies, but I think where their downfall may lay is um, mentally. <laughs> melee! <laughs> where their downfall may lay. Oh, God, bollocks. Bollocks, dude. Morning, ladies. Busy morning? Yeah, uh, we'll be flat out again today. Yeah. Good, I'm looking forward to it, right? Yeah. Cambridgeshire. <laughs> what are you doing that for? Shaking the pain out, mate. Oh. What did you get? Most of like most of Massachusetts towns are all just the we just stole them straight from the UK. They're all the same. Phantom pain center. I get a dull ache. I very rarely get what I would call a proper electrical shock i get maybe what twice a year yeah yeah get a big bang so anpr hit on kirk and jeremy the vw passat it is going towards cambridge it's crossing the a1 around here in hq there's new evidence suggesting that jez and kirk were dropped in the cambridge area by their getaway driver olaf the ANPR hit took them into an area where there's, there's a number of military bases now. They can't access those, but they could reach into using networks. They're so. not serving military, are they? No, they're not, but they could draw in associates and connections there. Commander C, yeah? Right, Tonto. Are you ready? Are you ready? They stole historic <laughs> items and also his arm. I mean, pretty true. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I think they might really be pretty true. attached to the idea of being heroes, thinking themselves as being a bit indestructible. Let them get cocky. Let them make the mistake. Don't fall into their overconfident mindset. We need to be rational, dispassionate, and detached, um, and then eliminate them from the proceedings and then move on to the next set. Hold on tight, Jess. This is definitely a 100% way of not being caught. No AMPR, no CCTV, deadly squat, cameras anywhere. <laughs> yeah. As HQ's latest lead on the ex-serviceman puts them close to Kirk's home. Oh, I'm kind of in the middle of watching something, Crimson. <laughs> I'm sorry. They decide to send the ground hunters. My viewer says he can't hear anything. I don't know exactly how I could help you with that. Your audio was working last time. To his wife. Is it Carol? Yes. Hi, I'm Nick. This is Danny. Hello. Can you hear about Kirk? Yes. Sorry to come in? Yeah, of course. Thank, yeah. You. Thank you. Hello, what's your name? Lily. How old are you? Alright, how are the how's the no. family gonna sell them down the river this time? I mean if there's ever a day to use up all the luck, this was a good day. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. You look like you're about eight. You're big from tomorrow, but it's gonna be one. <gasps> Really? No. Oh. Is he having a party? No. Or are you, you're going to eat all his cake? Like, That's a pretty sick cake. You're going to share his cake? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. So when, when did Kirk leave then? Uh, Saturday. Do you know where he went? I don't know. And what's he kind of said to you like about contact? Is he like, so as far as he's concerned, he's not going to speak to you? No. Maybe no. for the baby's birthday? No, no. He missed her birth and first <laughs> birthday and oh, numerous God. other birthdays. So things like that don't really no, bother it him. It doesn't bother him. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Damn. Here, it bothers me. Yeah. And what colour was his backpack? Uh, oh my god, camouflage. Oh, yeah, I think it was camouflage. It's black. 
Yeah. It's it black. Oh, it? oh, well done, it's black. <laughs> Come on, kids, stop. <laughs> Oh, she might actually, she might actually just be feeding them misinformation, which is sick. I like it. And then the kids, the kids, you can't just don't say anything. <laughs> is this his tablet? That's his iPad. Does he have any other devices? There's his laptop. We're going to take that. Kirk's mobile, laptop and iPad are taken for the cyber team to analyze. The cyber the team, the dude. Kids <laughs> are more likely to be honest than, than their parents. They got his whole Look cyber life. He's a year old tomorrow. Yep. That may be something we seek to exploit in some way, shape, or form. Do we go particularly unpleasant and bring his mother in for an interview tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it has been said that... They're like... <laughs> the baby's having a one-year-old birthday. Bring her in for questioning. <laughs> Fucking assholes. <laughs> He's very family orientated. He's very focused on his children. So if we can get the technical angle, get all the emails, Skype, the everything Skype. covered. If he does make contact, we're not going to miss it. Do you think Kurt will be happy phoning or do you think he'll try and stop by? Um, there is no way around it. That day matters. Obviously, there's going to be some contact. There's surely the incentive for him not to contact is the fact that he could win £100,000. But you know... Yeah, I mean, that's a little bit of motivation. If you're, you know, you and your your spouse come to an understanding beforehand. Ever again going to get your son's first birthday. But, yeah, but there'll be many more uh, I birthdays. guess it is the first birthday. That's a pretty big one, I guess. <laughs> that is, and the son won't remember. Yeah, he, won't, he won't even remember. <laughs> it's fine. Who cares? He got, he, he's already had like three of them. It's the third first birthday. With you, if it were his third, his fourth, yeah. it's his first birthday. It's his first birthday. Not for the child, for the parent. Okay. I Very love easy. that it's like the 20 year old dude who's saying that. He's like, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the kid. <laughs> right. We might need to formulate a bit of a strategy around that. Ladies and gentlemen, can we gather round? Okay, we're going to find out where we're at with. Anna and Elizabeth. HQ's attention now turns to the youngest fugitives. They've worked out the pair are staying on the run by <laughs> hitchhiking from truck stops. Yeah, I'll get his pony once we win. When you stop off at service stations, start handing out some posters of Anna and Elizabeth. And the reason for that is, you know, we know this is their MO. We know they're going to service stations to pick up riots. So let's get <laughs> to pick up all riots. Over. Yeah, no problem. You never know, it might be complete gold dust at some point. Hi there. Can you give us a shout if you see these two? Two girls, aged between 20 and 25. Hi there. Can I give you this to look at, please? One of them has got blonde hair. The other one has got mousy brown hair. Excuse me. Sorry, are you going anywhere we could get a lift to? Where are you going to? Oh, anywhere, anywhere would you go in? Just so we can just, just get, get away quickly. <laughs> <laughs> We're desperate. All right. Thank you. Sure? Thank Where you are you so going? Much? Cornwall. Oh! Oh, oh, that's where That'd we just want to go. Thank, Thank you. Thank oh, you wow, so much. Nice oh, nice car. car. A Jaguar. Goddamn, riding in style. Oh, I feel better now. I'm going to car. We know they're young. We know they're marathon runners and, and fit, young and healthy. But even so, leaping from vehicle to vehicle and location to location, I'm sure we'll be tired. <laughs> yeah, my mum probably would have been happy about that, Leslie. And I'm sure at some point they're going to make a mistake upon which we need to exploit. In fact, you could argue that they're already pursuing a very risky line of, uh, of behaviour in any event. How many times you picked up a car in the uh, service centre, uh, you know, a service park that you just picked up me over there? Lots of times. Right, OK, so you've got Oh, do she up. out. That's yeah. me in a car, so 100%. Going for a lift, you're not going to be doing it at a service station. Yeah, because it is leaving her. Is this random dude that picked him up actually giving them the keys to the kingdom? He's like, you can't do this again. They're gonna know. <laughs> you gotta go get a ride somewhere else. I think we need to stop hitchhiking. Yeah, just round country lanes, I reckon. But not on services. Yeah, not, not on services anymore because they're gonna recognize it, aren't they? 
If I could speak to the fugitive tonight, if I could whisper in their little shell like, you know what I'd say to them? <laughs> their little shell like? Wait, what? <laughs> Stop putting yourself through all this because the longer you're at liberty, the greater you think your chances of achieving that prize will become. Actually, it's completely the reverse. The longer they stay at liberty, the greater our chances of catching them. How do you know that you did not get into a oh, nearly uh, new Jag right. with fleet services right. with an MI5 agent? Oh, don't say that. Uh, <laughs> um, we don't. We don't. <laughs> Are you an MI5 agent? See? <laughs> Could you imagine? If they already got them. <laughs> That's not likely to say yes, I'm like. <laughs> so you're not an MI5 agent? No. Oh, fuck oh. <laughs> Dodged. Dodged. <laughs> Dude's just fucking with them. That's hilarious. It's fugitive Kirk Bowett's son's birthday. So today, I would like you to keep an eye, essentially, on Carol Bowett. We're on our way now to her house to go and put a tracking device on her vehicle. Get that tracker on. Yeah. Get get behind her and see what she does today. Good luck. Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just need to, uh... <laughs> Once there's a there's a A tier spawn today, a Gary will tar trango locate Hippo's account between the three streams. <laughs> Chris, I have Kit. This is all from oh, Carol. Also, the cyber team are also focusing on. I love that they call them the cyber team. That's so funny. Christmas is coming up. <laughs> Like Christmas. We're gonna get a Christmas episode. Yeah. It's Kirk's laptop. It's been hibernated. Still live. Right, let's hack into these and see what we can find. It could be anyone. Wimpole Hall. <laughs> I can't believe it's my son's first birthday. Yeah, I know. It's risky though. Gotta do it though. Gotta seem a little lad. I reckon there's a 50 50 chance of getting caught, to be honest. He's going for it, dude! Before heading out of the area, Kirk has pre-planned a secret rendezvous with his wife and son. Let's go. Do oh, I wonder, I wonder where they're gonna where they're gonna do it. You can't go and meet up at at the house. Like you gotta do it outside somewhere. I could even be Kubo. Oh my god. Chinese are good selling money. Get out of here. Get actually cease cease this crazy behavior. No. No. We're here. Of the stately home is there, which is about 700 meters away. We're gonna move up a track into the folly. The folly. It's on the map as folly. Your Overwatch position. They're gonna have snipers! That is my stalk position. I'm then going to ghillie suit up in the dead ground. God damn it, Med. If you weren't a mod, I'd time you out. <laughs> that is the ERV. The meat. Can't see him. He's well canned out. It's really good. Can't see him He's all. got the full ghillie suit to meet up with his family? That's crazy. That's awesome. Yo. We will be at home in about 10 minutes. Okay, let me know when that's deployed. She's not being followed. I should be able to see Carol at 12 o'clock in amongst the trees at the play park. The tracking device we're going to put on Carol's car today. Yeah, they put it on the live shoe, that's right. How about one of us knocks on the door and one the other one like, lays under the car and sticks on the tracking device? I mean, you got to have, like, a car drop for anyone you're meeting up. You're meeting up with your son on his first birthday. Your wife's got to do a car drop, dude. Imagine how weird it would be to see a group of people just talking at the ground. Dude, ghillie suits are insane. I actually have one. I actually, back in the day when I paintballed, Oh my god. One year I wore it to... I was at... I went to a park. 
uh, Halloween night that uh, it was just full of. This was this was this was back when I was a wee lad. It was full of full of kids, and all of a sudden it just turned into like an egg fight. Like people were egging each other, and then the cops showed up, and I was in a bush in my ghillie suit, and my other friend had camo shit on as well. And the cops cleared out the entire park and we just sat there and they never knew. <laughs> they cleared out everybody. And I just sat there chilling my ass off. They were none the wiser. The car's gone. Bollocks! She's gone already. She's gone! Let's go! <laughs> she left early. Oh, absolute L investigators. Fuck's sake. Fuck. Hello, girls. Oh, Right, just to let you know, we've just arrived at the address and the vehicle has gone. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to do that. I want to do that. <laughs> that was so dramatic. <laughs> He's like, God damn it. <laughs> I haven't got a crystal ball. I'm an investigator, not a mind reader. You didn't think she would leave Earth? <laughs> Kirk and Carol want Kirk and Carol. Having missed the opportunity to put a tracker on Carol's car, oh. HQ are now resting their hopes on the cyber team hacking into Kirk's laptop. Come on, cyber Carol, team. Amy, I'm Carol, absolutely Amy, pro cyber team. Come uh, on. Uh, I want to see how... <laughs> The cyber team tracks down via this dude's laptop that he's sitting in this fucking field. <laughs> uh, Jez, I have eyes on Carol. Eyes on Carol. Excellent news. Go careful, mate. Tilly Bow one. B E A U one. Who's got the D E A on him? No. There should be some sort of password hint on here. I'm gonna make a bound. They're actually just manually trying to input the password correctly. That's what the cyber team's doing. <laughs> I'm gonna need kids' birthdays. <laughs> I don't know. What do you, what do you even use for your password? <laughs> to make the meeting, okay? Roger, I can see you now. Oh my god, they're actually going to do it. Space town, space one. <gasps> Straight up, actually. Oh my god, I actually did it. Me, me and my friends in high school, we had this teacher uh, who was super crazy about uh, his hometown. Like, he would just not stop talking about it all the time. And we were sitting there um, after school at, like, a computer in the art room. And you could just sign into, like, accounts from any computer in the school. So we were, like... We put in his username because everyone's username was just their fucking name. And then typed in the hometown as the password. It was his fucking password. <laughs> we fucking died, dude. It's so dumb. <laughs> the most boomer password, dude. Oh. Where is he from? He literally took his favorite thing in the world and made it his password. No caps, no numbers. Ultra and one. Ultra and one. <laughs> they actually got in. Are you we kidding are me? In, my well done, Chris. Nice one. Hello. You've been followed. I'm confident that you're not going to follow. What I'm not confident about is uh, what they might find in your devices. Right. They took them all yesterday. Okay. We've got Vodafone, iCloud. They'll never guess mine. Next account, Dropbox, Facebook, his banking password. Is they got his banking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! You might win a share of a hundred thousand dollars, but we got everything. <laughs> Gmail part. Oh, he's, he's fucked. He's got everything. Happy birthday, you. Happy birthday, young man. 
So we now own Kirk Bowett's online life. Perfect. He's completely screwed. They're just gonna steal his identity. Actually, the show is... In celebration of the arrival of her third son with... <laughs> We hunted for people that would just disclose all of their information to us. Engraved with his name, birth weight, and date. Oh, they're getting their hair dyed! Oh, shit. I still feel like you just gotta go full bald, dude. Yo, Bruins tied it up, let's go. It's late now, isn't it, mate? That's, like, that, see, that's too sus. No, that's, that's way too, that, like... That's bleach. Well, maybe what? When was this? Is like 2015. I think that's still too sus. This time last week we were in a. Gonna be like, oh, look at the, <laughs> the dude at all camo with bleach blood. <laughs> car, not knowing whether we would get caught or not, and now it feels like we've made a massive break from our pursuers. You say you can't polish a turd, but. <laughs> Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Why waste their time on us when they can go and catch the easy, easy pickings and leave us to it? Dye, yeah, dye your hair blue. They'd never expect it. Be free, free for a sec. Yes, sir. So, this is Kirk's iPad. Unknown to Kirk, the cyber team have hacked into his laptop and iPad, giving them access to his online accounts. It's got a lot of. I like how they they hacked into his his. Laptop and iPad is just brute forced his password. Stuff about their plans. Show me the bits about Ryan. Olaf is good to go for a little pickup and safe house spot on. Yep, Olaf Jones for getaway driver. Yeah. Funny enough, this conversation. This <laughs> shit post on Facebook. <laughs> so he's deleted it off his iPhone. <laughs> Quick post the here. post the dang political memes, ben, man. You might want to come and see this. That's that's a note to himself. Yeah. The cyber team have also hacked into one of Jez's email accounts. Jay Z's, e so they got into Jay Z's Skype. email accounts with that dude's password. How does that guy know Jay Z? Oh, <laughs> 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 hacked into one of Jez's email accounts. What? So, what did Jez Scarrett's Sky email account? All right, I'm stretching. I'm stretching. To get into that by resetting his password in his email. There's an email to himself. He emailed it from his Gmail to his Sky. It has a long list of contact details for various places, and we've got yeah, just a list of um, phone numbers. Fuck. That's exactly what I would do, though. Straight up, I email myself all the time. Fuck. Maybe I'd get caught on this show pretty easy. <laughs> You gotta delete it after, my dude. Jeremy Scarrett. A cyber guy's got into the lengthy conversation dating back prior to when they became fugitives. I'm the hunter. You're talking and planning their time on the run. Particularly, they refer to a guy called Dave Leo. And we've discovered Dave Leo lives in Blackpool. So Blackpool is the focus. Any contact. I like the hexagon light up test. have in Blackpool. We need to research and thoroughly exploit. You know, it's kind of small, but I've got to make down what are you going to do? Dave Leo that has access to a motorhome and he'll probably have some contacts. <laughs> Kirk and Jez are with the wife of a veteran friend, Karen Cameron. Blackpool's full of CCTV. Uh, no doubt See, like what is cameras, but at the end of the day... <coughs> What is the point of dyeing your hair bleach blonde? Okay, we CCTV. And then wearing your same camo hat on top. <laughs> I guess you, you can't see the hair at all that way. Uh, no doubt there's lots of AMPR cameras, but at the end of the day, it's hidden. Arriving in a third party vehicle, as we've always done. So uh, we should arrive. Stay living every day. Okay, guys, I would like you to make your way covertly to. Blackpool. We've got stuff coming in as I'm talking to you that we're just plotting. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> you look like Eminem from 2014. <laughs> I mean, this is literally came out in 2015, I think, so that might be what he's going for. Dave 
Leo's vehicles are on monitoring, all of his phones are on monitoring. His motorhome as well. Everything's on monitoring. The truth is, we're all over Dave Leo. We're all over him, dude. Oh, he's fucked. Borrow your phone. That would be great. And I'll give my mate a call. Okay. Dave, is that you? Yes, sir. Jess Garrett. Hi, Jess. Are you all right? I'm very well, very well. Are you at work or are you at home? I'm at work today. I was just supposed to be off, but I'm coming to take somebody on. OK, that's not a problem. We'll try and find where you live. And yeah. we will hang around there till you finish doing your work. Is that OK? That's fine. That's okay. brilliant. Thanks very much, Eden. I'll see you see later. You the telephone that made that incoming call to Dave Leo is shown on Facebook as belonging to Karen, with a K, Cameron. So next steps oh, we need shit. to bottom out exactly where her current location is, um, get cell site analysis done on that number so that we can track her um, and see if she is a driver. Oh, more shinies. And then if she is a driver, where is she taking them to next? Karen's phone is about to give away Jez and Kirk's every move. Oh, fuck. There's always that worry that the hunters are going to be over our shoulders. I'm not scared of them. You I've, should uh, be. I face people who want to kill me, and then they don't want to kill me. So we're just going to have to outwit them and keep our distance by stay, staying off grid. You know, staying off grid. Let's go. Bruins score again to take the lead as coughing spawns in the chat. Coffee. I don't have a Pokeball. Premier Ball. Give me the Squirtle. What if they just flee the country? Hmm. What if they <laughs> just go to Northern Ireland, dude? This was... When did Brexit happen? Can they still... Were they part of the EU? Can they just hop to another EU country? <laughs> it was right around. It was right around then, right? Can't imagine getting a boat would be too hard in the UK. I mean, they li literally look like they're on a boardwalk. Yeah, then... <laughs> There's no CCTV on the open ocean. Can you explain what happened? Um, I, basically, I don't get it. Well, have you seen the rest? Basically, they're just trying to track down a bunch of uh, fugitives for a game show. There's... Is it 10 contestants split into teams of two? But, uh... These military dudes are apparently about to get completely rolled because they trusted Karen to use her phone. Yeah, hide and seek with the police, basically. <laughs> Nobody caught coughing. Rip. So we've got cell site information, which is Karen Cameron's phone. Identified near Blackpool Pleasure Gardens. To we'll Pleasure to Gardens. Michelle and Paul over there as a matter of yeah. emergency. DGI in Blackpool. We're arriving there at quarter past twelve. Quarter past twelve. Right. Okay. The phone of Karen Cameron. <laughs> you just turned down an alley right at that that building. They let you out. Hunker down. <laughs> Who would stay? Who would camp spawn? Who would ever do that? We are getting cell site monitoring of it, and it's in Blackpool. Okay. She may potentially be ferrying the fugitives around. The fugitives need to kill time before meeting Dave Leo, so decide to have lunch with Karen and her friend. The more moves that we're doing, and the more bounds that we're making a different mode of transport, the more confident we are getting. But the hunters continue to track. Karen Cameron, what a name, for real. 
I mean, that would probably just freaking work here, bro. Because the sad truth is, uh, most of society just ignores homeless Karen's people. Fun. So Following it might be a good route. Locations for Karen Cameron, and we've noticed that she stayed in one place for quite a long time, which looks to be next to a car park. And so we're just going to request CCTV to try and see if we can spot our fugitives. They've been looking for two guys on their own, and we're clearly together. Us four. So, Chief, I think we've got confirmed sighting of Jess Scarrett in the shopping of the <laughs> shopping center. This is <laughs> this reminds me exactly of Death Note. That scene in Death Note when lights gotta go to like the I don't know what it is. They go to like the 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 town like out on the town with all the college kids. He grabs a bunch of kids that are like the. <laughs> Fake hero will never see me with all these people I'm with. I'm just a single dude. They're thinking of a single. They're trying to find a single guy. There's like eight of us. Immediately, immediately, like there they are with those two people. <laughs> Why are they just walking with these people? Yeah. They got very distinct. Yeah. They got very distinct. Oh shit. They do have a distinct- that dude literally is missing a leg, I think. Oh shit, he does have like a- a specific gate. ...down to that pedestrianized precinct. Okay, so that was Church Street. We're coming into Church Street now. Just confirming they're in a group of four. A group of four, one of whom has a distinctive red waist-length coat on. It's a bit empty in here, isn't it? It's just opened at 12. Oh, right. So will there be other people coming in here, will there? Right. Michelle. Yeah, go on, boss. Have you got an update for me? Not as yet, no. Not as yet, no. This phone has been static for some time. Which may indicate that they are static. Perhaps they're eating. Okay. Yeah. Think about pubs, eateries. Yeah. It's lunchtime. No way, we've got triangulation that might be creating a more accurate location. These, these people, let's get this straight here. These people, not only are they cops, they're reality TV, like, they're, they're reality TV producers mixed together with cops. It's like the worst of the worst. Forced into one to become the ultimate exploitation vessel. You're missing a leg and it's your kid's birthday. Fuck you. Mr. Basra Diner. It's going to head for Mr. Basra's Diner. Mr. Basra's. Exact location. Okay, it's on the corner of Dean's Gate. It's, op it's opposite the council. Right, stand by. You're hearing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Basra's Curry House, which is on Dean's Gate at the junction with. Cooks That's good show content. I didn't say it wasn't. Dean's Gate, Cooksy Street. You can't have Basra's Curry House. They may not be in that restaurant, but just that is the only alternative place they can eat. Right, okay, we're gonna head that way now, boss. Right, okay. We're the wrong end of Dean's Gate, aren't we? Stop. Run! <sighs> right, just hold on. <laughs> They're fucking face uh, away. Go. Oh. Do you really want these guys? We will get them. Absolutely. We will. Round two. We're now going for India. Or well, then I might end up in Asia next. <laughs> <laughs> These dudes, they, they, they didn't even camp, did they? Didn't they just like chill at a dude's house? But they went one, one day on the run and they were like, all right, dude, it's time, it's time to hit the buffet, baby. <laughs> I'm starving. Great place. A bit of ice cream for pudding. We've got it. Go that side. I'll go this side. <laughs> yep. You want me to be the cyber team? <laughs> table for tonight. Go in, make a booking, and then come out. Oh, they're fucked, dude. They're fucked. So still fair. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. I want them to just get up and bolt. But the cops are in plain clothes. Oh! There's some hunters over there. They're hunters. Yeah. 
pegged them. Okay, How do you know? How do you know if the camera guy is just <laughs> every two seconds panning to the door? <laughs> look like they're from the city. They're not from. Yeah, these are the military guys. Yeah. This area, and they look like they're looking. For I look like. They look like they're from the city. They're not from this area. They look like they're looking for some. How do you know they're not from this area? They're wearing like sweatshirts. What do you mean? What do you mean? Somebody. So, Maybe I could see uh, you notice them looking around. But they, they, <laughs> I'm sorry. They look like the most no like what? Don't look around. Just keep looking forward. Yeah, now you're looking sus. We've been hunted. Yeah, you got you got to get up and run, stay, dude. Just, no, no, jump up. Just stay, just stay calm. Stay calm. Boss, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, they're about to pull the gun. Put the eyes on. Okay. Keep them under surveillance and then follow them out. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> all right, now that's sus. Now that's sus. All right. I could see the peg in that. Is anybody in here? Dude, you gotta like go in the bathroom and go out the window. I feel sick now. What should we do, Jess? Well, can you call the manager over? <laughs> <laughs> call the manager. They literally have a Karen with them. Get the manager over here. She can sort it out. Go, go, go. There. Time is of the um, essence. Are there people out the front asking inquiries? Yeah. Uh, um, do you have an alternative exit out of the building? Uh, a back entrance? Yeah. You go. You I'm, I'm staying here. You two go. What do you mean you're going to split the party? When there's okay, one entrance up. in and one entrance out? They've just gone out back. Okay, so maybe they do run around back and the other guy goes out the front. He's like, peace. What happens if you only get one? They had no reason to leave the wild. They got an ATV and everything. Literally, they wanted they wanted to get some grub. That's the whole reason they're getting caught right now. Is like, ah. You know, we've been stressed. We've been, uh, we've been on the road. Let's just get a big meal. Then we'll head back. Somebody has just gone out the back. They've just gone out the back. Right. Get after Follow them. Right, the other one's getting up and moving. <laughs> Get the MREs. <laughs> have you just let somebody through there? Has no. somebody just let... Well, where's this? Where does this go? Where's this go? It's the kitchen and the staff room. Well, where's the person with yellow hair just gone through there? Is that your concern? Yes, it is my concern. Where, where have they concern? gone? I know, Jim. <laughs> this is like, can I see some identification? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Just some lady to FaceTime and somebody. Where's, what is this door going to? Where have they gone? Oh. I lived off Emery for two months when Hurricane Katrina came through. Really? God damn, were you in New Orleans? Or Louisiana? I guess it could be uh, nearby too as well. God damn. On the Texas Louisiana border. God. Well, glad you <laughs> glad you made it out all those years ago. That's crazy. Where are they? Dude, they're actually in a closed down building. Oh shit. Yo. You had some when your brother came home from the Navy. There are good ones. And most are hard to eat, though. Dang. Only time I've eaten them is in Tarkov. <laughs> There's no way out there, is there? Okay. Just stay in there. Next time, we don't even see them. Got Get it. Oh, I, I got to do one more, dude. Are you crazy? <laughs> what do you mean? They're just... <laughs> They're all, where are they hiding? Running 
parallel with them now. Oh my god, okay, we got to They're actually- Alright, alright, spoilers, 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 spoilers. We'll see you in about five. Yeah, literally, spoilers. <laughs> they made it to a van! Oh my god.